What is up everybody this is Famous and welcome to another tutorial. If you clicked on this video you're wanting to know how to add in the video plugin for OBS so that you can add background videos to either your stream or you know your YouTube videos just like what this is right now. Now I struggled with this a little bit when I first started looking for tutorial videos that are out there now and what I ended up running into as a common theme was that the instructor would skip a lot of steps that I ended up having a lot of trouble with trying to figure it out. So I'm going to go with you start to finish and show you exactly how to do this. I'm not going to skip any steps. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into step number one. For step number one, we're going to go ahead and head over to the website itself. I have the link in the description. And all you have to do on this page is know whether to have a 32-bit version or a 64-bit version. I currently have a 64-bit version, so all you have to do is click the link and the file will begin downloading. And it will show up at the bottom of your browser. If you're having some issues with knowing how to actually extract these files, then this is kind of the step where I got confused on because it would download there, but it would be in a zip and I wouldn't know, you know what to do. So I'm going to provide you a second link to a program that helps you to unzip files and it's ironically called unzipper. So once you've downloaded these files, let's go ahead and go into step number two and that's to extract the files. Okay, so this is the program that I was talking about, the unzipper, and what we're going to do is go into our download folder, go over to the files that we need to extract, which is this one, and all you do is just drag it over and then it will start downloading. Once it gets put in here, these are the files that we're going to need to put into the plugins folder. So the next thing we need to do is locate OBS's plugin folder and then add these files to it. So what you're going to do is click on Windows C Drive, then you're going to go down to your program files. Once in there, you're going to go to OBS. Once you click on OBS, you are now into the plugins folder. This is where we're going to add those files to it. Now, although I've already added in, I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to add it in just to kind of to ease your mind. So go ahead and go back over and then you've got both of them selected and then simply drag it over to uh, the downloads folder and it will throw it in there. I'm going to get an error because it's going to say that these files already exist. So, for your sake, go ahead and let it ride, but for me, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this step. So notice that the video source plugin is now in, and the video source plugin wrapper is in there as well. So now we have the plugin installed. We need to go over to OBS to check it out to make sure that everything is in there the way that it is supposed to be and how you can add a video for yourself. So let's go ahead and look into OBS. Okay guys, so we have made it over to OBS. We are ready to check and see if our plugins were added in correctly. So the first thing we can do to check that is go to plugins and make sure that video source is available. If video source is there, then we've done everything correct and we can move into the actual step of adding in a video to your background. So what you want to do is you're going to add in a new video source but I wanted to talk a little bit about the file before we actually do that. So for my own personal preference, what I do is I created a folder that we can directly pull from for the video. So when we set up a source, we can even set it up as a global. And whenever we want to have a playlist or anything like that, just put it in this folder and use it as a file source from now on. So we've got this link uh, for this video. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to right click add and then you're going to go down to, um, to video, but I'm going to do it up here just so you guys can see it. Okay, so you just have to right click and then do add and then add a video. Once you do that, just click OK. And we're going to get into some of the instructions. I'm going to walk you through exactly what they mean. So on the video height and width, I would go ahead and add it to the current pixels that you currently use on your video. And what that means is it's going to stretch the video all the way out to take up the entire background. 
So for me, we're filming in 1080p, so I'm going to change it to that. And then this button here is a playlist looping. And what it's going to do is you, if you had multiple videos in that folder, it will actually cycle through all of the videos, which is super cool. But in this case, when you just have one video, what it's going to do is continuously reloop that same video over and over and over again. Here is where we're going to add in the file path. So once you add in the file path, make sure that you press the plus button off to the side. And now you'll see that it has been added in here. So now we're just going to click OK. OK, so now that we have done that, notice that the video came up to the top. I personally want this to be at the bottom, so I'm going to reorder it to the bottom. That just means it's in the back. Since it's a background video, that's what we want to be in the back. And now I can go ahead and preview the stream and show you guys what it looks like. And now if you are interested in this and you know this was something that was helpful to you, you know, be sure to drop a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section and I will help you out as much as I possibly can. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more YouTube tutorials.